everybody is hungry to compete in the Olympics. I just want to put all my effort in and leave it all in the ocean. The waves look super fun. Let's do it. Go time. This is one of the biggest goals and one of the biggest dreams. The only person who can beat me is me. What just happened? Is this real? It's been like an emotional roller coaster. Anything's possible if you have the hard work and talent to do it. We're competitors. We're here to get a job done. The dream of Olympic surfing was a dream decades ago, but today is our reality. These magnificent waves, this wonderful climate, and of course the warm people of Salvador are a blessing. To be a surfer is not only to go surfing, it is also to take care of the oceans, to become ambassadors of the oceans and the beaches of the world, to be good people inside and outside of the water. The 2023 ISA World Surfing Games in El Salvador served as the second tier in the qualification process, awarding Olympic spots to four men and four women in specific continental regions. With gold medals on the line, the athletes prepared themselves both physically and mentally for the task ahead. All right, team, getting ready. Always follow with the gaze. Try to get up, open up the shoulder blades, come on. <sighs> For me, it's like super important event. It's like Olympic qualification, so I, I need to do well. I am, um, I've been training so much. I've been training a lot. I've been focused. I've been doing all my stuff every morning, every day. I've uh, been working so hard and then uh, I'm ready. I'm ready to, to surf and enjoy this, this, this event. Martin, I would say, is one of my biggest pillars in life. The amount of, of hard work and, and, and belief that we have, you know, it's, it's so impressive. Like, we really believe we can do it. For many athletes who are not able to qualify through the CT, this event is the first big opportunity to secure their ticket to Tahiti. My biggest dream is qualify for the second Olympics ever and doing it here and qualifying for the European spot, it, it would be an amazing trip. Every year I look forward for this event and not only to compete and not only to qualify and there is something very special about it. Team France, on the other hand, has high hopes of qualifying Tahitian locals whose experience at the Olympic venue would give their team a competitive edge. I've never been an Olympian, so I don't know what is the feeling to reach that, but once I reach it, I know that it's because I put everything into it. That was incredible surfing from Kali Bass. One section projects right out of the lift into the flats. That kid is a superstar of the future. He has ridden some of the biggest waves at the Olympic venue. If he qualifies for the Olympics, he is a serious and solid gold medal chance for France. Ready, set, let's go. It's Boom Boom Bilbo, Billy Stairman, demanding attention with that beautiful backside I feel like I left a bit in Tokyo, so I really want to like qualify for Paris and kind of um, hopefully get a better result next time. I think the one thing that Gabriel wants more than anything in the world, an Olympic gold medal, he said it, he's been vocal about that, that's what he wants. Brian Perez, as he is up and riding, snap into the lip, 
Looking for that second oh. corner. Here we go, Rio Wida, beautiful front side air. Really deep bottom turn, and she attacks through that rail work at the top. Let's have a look at this. Big set wave, throws it into the lip, pulls it down. Not many people could have made that. That was a, a monumental moment for that young lady, I oh, bet, yeah. in her surfing. That wave deserved the accolades that it got. While the journey to the end of the road remains long for some, others had their dreams realized. Sarah, come here. Jordi, come here. I'm gonna see you next, next year in Tahiti. I've been feeling a lot of pressure the last week, so it's just been like an emotional roller coaster and um, just breathing, just trying to focus on myself and trust the process. And um, yeah, here we are. I just kind of let the last one go. Uh, you know, kind of let that lie and um, just started kind of preparing to get to this position. I don't know. Yeah. For my son. Jordy has secured a spot. He is still in the running for one of the championship tour spots. That would take precedence over this. So his spot one here would be reallocated to the next highest African surfer here. It just so happens that there wasn't another African surfer within the top 30 therefore would go to the next highest ranked surfer here, regardless of the nationality. New Zealand's Billy Stearman and Safi Betty punched their tickets through the Oceania region. Excited but really terrified too. <laughs> I've never been to Tahiti before. I'm really excited to give it a red hot crack. It's been a big journey and you know, I, I, I did learn a lot in Tokyo and I kind of you know, I took that into my journey to qualify for this 2024 games and obviously the surfing is going to be in Tahiti, uh, which is exciting and yeah, it's been good to push my, uh, push my surfing to a different level and um, kind of focus on, on Tahiti. Shino Matsuda and Ryo Anaba from Japan qualify for the Asia region. For the athletes that did not qualify in this event, they will have to look ahead if they want to make it to Paris 2024. I'm definitely going to keep my run and going to work harder and harder to qualify in Puerto Rico, but I'm excited for the next one. Next I say more people, more fun, more pressure, more Olympic spots. I'm stoked. I'm stoked there is another opportunity for people like me and a lot of other people that are trying to qualify. The on Glatzer now. Look at this, the slow-mo, the appreciation you can get for that inverted, that front foot goes flat for a second and it gives him the chance to bring it all the way back around under. He's so close right there to coming way back over his board and, and centering his gravity. They had really, really high expectations, not even just to like qualify for the Olympics, but I, I really had, I set myself big expectations with winning the event. It was shocking for me, you know, like I, I remember right after I lost the heat, I, I asked myself like, what just happened? Like, wh what happened? Like, is this, is this real? Like, what, what's going on? And I, it, I couldn't even process the loss. Local Tahitian Vahine Fierro will represent France through the European region. It's enough to make me want to cry, to be honest. You know, she has been through an enormous amount of emotional ups and downs, you know, following this dream, chasing this dream, see her come out the other side of all of that, succeed, book her place. But that is, um, yeah, is epic, mate. You know, I'm an Olympian now and I just want to surf my heart out and, and try my best out there. Hard work does pay off uh, at some point and this point right now is like the best ever and, and I'm really looking forward to, you know, putting the time in over there and, and figure out how I can win that gold medal. Finals day, last day. Unfortunately, we had some electrical activity in the area, so we've had to call off and, and delay. But it's 9.15 now. We're about to start the finals day. We have the last European slot and the actual last Olympic slot here on the line. 
It's gonna come down to Spain's Gonzalo Gutierrez and France's Kaoli Vaz. Tahitian local Kaoli Vaz edges out his competition and qualifies for the host country, France. Congratulations! It was a really hard competition for me because a lot of pressure. Obviously, it was uh, the biggest goal for me to qualify for the Olympics at, at home, especially because the surf will be uh, at Tehupo. And yeah, I'm super happy now to representing France, representing Tahiti also for my first Olympics, and I'm gonna try to do my best. With the potential for a spot to be reallocated for the men, the stakes for winning the event were high. All right, here we go. La oh. Pina looking for a 10. Oh! Surfing like that, definitely gonna help him. Alan Cleland Jr. Quick setup turn there. This wave starting to grow down the line. Oh. Impactful second turn for Cleland. Another nicely placed turn, throwing straight to the sky, building speed and momentum down the line. Oh. Blowing the tail. One more. Absolute control and commitment to every turn. Cleland again. Give this man a medal. What a performance from Al Cleland <laughs> Jr. Vamos Mexico. I got excited, they got excited, the world got excited. The highest single wave score of the day, just at the right time. Alan Cleland Jr. gets the highest score of the event in the grand final. Woohoo! Winning that event and then having Fernando Aguirre come up to me and he's like, if Jordy double qualifies, you're in. Which that kind of like made me tear up for a second. You know, someone you looked up to your whole life, having him qualifying you into the Olympics 2024. It's, uh, it's a pretty crazy feeling. It's a, uh, I'm just stoked for everything that's come after it and everything that's gonna happen in the future. With tier two at the 2023 World Surfing Games concluded, eight more athletes can now set their eyes on Tahiti. I solemnly, respectfully declare the Surf City El Salvador ISA World Surfing Games 2023. Finish. Close. We'll see you in Puerto Rico early 2024 for the last of the three ISA Olympic qualifiers. The journey is not over yet. Next up, we head to Chile for the 2023 Pan Am Games.